Hey guys, this is Noah with Highbond. Today we're going to be going over a quick tutorial on how to properly create your colorful patch gang sheet. I have a perfect example that we've been working on in Illustrator, and let's just get straight into it. So layer one is always going to be your print file, and layer two is always going to be your cut file. Layer two will consist of these red lines. The red lines will always be your cut lines, so never forget that. Let's get into how I created that file. So the template will be available for download in an AI, SVG, EPS, or PDF. That way, no matter what software you're working with, if it's not Adobe Illustrator, if you're using Corel Draw, Lightburn, or something similar to that, you should be able to import it, no problems at all. So let's just talk about some of the features on the template. So the guidelines are here to ensure that your artwork does not cross over that. That way we can ensure perfect prints every time and perfect cuts every time without having to worry about cutting over the sheet um, or printing over the sheet. The black dots on here are the registration marks and they are absolutely essential for getting perfect and accurate cuts every time. They are locked so you will not be able to move them around and you're going to have to maneuver your artwork around these dots. So previously to make this go faster I've already pre-laid everything out um, so that none of, the, none of my designs are overlapping any of the registration marks or outside of the guidelines. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to input the print file on layer one and then the cut lines on layer two. So if, if your designs are not grouped already, go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and group them like this. And then what we're going to do is either right click and copy or we're going to control C, which is a shortcut for copy as well. So now that we have that, we're going to go over to Pathfinder and we're just going to merge all of the vector art together. What this does is just merge everything together into one shape. That way we can set the cut lines. So after that's done, you should be able to move this out of the way. If you have any kind of font or anything, don't worry about that. Just go ahead and delete it. In this example, obviously it's not perfect, um, but this doesn't matter for the example. Now that we have our patches laid out and the cut lines are on the edge right here, we're going to go ahead and make official cut lines for it. So we're going to take the fill out to transparent. And then we're going to go over to stroke and then we're going to do 0.1 and then we're going to change the stroke color to red so let's go ahead and do that it doesn't matter what red color it is as long as it's red um, there's no cmyk or rgb or anything like that as long as it's a red color it should work just fine so now that we have our cut file that's perfect we're going to go into layer one and remember when we copy the print file, we're going to do control V or right click and paste. So now that we pasted on layer one, the print file is going to be already on layer one and it won't be anywhere else. So I'm going to go ahead and just lay this out perfectly like I had it before and make sure that it's not touching any of the registration marks. And it looks like we are good to go with that. So now that we have the cut file down here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do control C or right click and copy. And now that we have that copied, we're just gonna delete it from layer one, and then we're gonna select layer two. And then we're gonna hit the eyeball on layer one so you don't see that anymore. And you'll see that the registration marks are now outlines as well. So now we're gonna do control V or right click and paste. And we're gonna set this over here. And now we're gonna go back to layer one and now we're going to be able to line up the cut lines with the print file. So we're going to select the cut line and the print file. And then once you have both of those selected, we're going to go ahead and select the print file one more time. And it should bolden up just like this. And then we're going to align center and horizontally. And that's really all there is to it. Um, once you have everything done like this, you will be good to go. So let's go over the print file to make sure that we have everything accurate. We'll take out layer two. So you can see that there are no cut lines anymore on layer one. And if we take out layer one and we show layer two, you can see that the cut lines are perfectly aligned with the print file. So that's really all there is to it. If you guys have any other questions on how to get this thing set up, um, please reach out if you want another tutorial getting into more depth with anything uh, we can definitely do that just let us know and 
yeah, it's just as easy as that. So we're looking forward to all of your guys' orders, and we cannot wait to get this started. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.